everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I adapted a imported digital gauge to a Harbor Freight 4x6 bandsaw. The bandsaw that you see here is your typical 4x6 import from Harbor Freight, Grizzly, etc. And the gauge that you'll see in the lower right hand corner is a piece that I purchased off of eBay for about $40. It has a remote readout that you can see off to the upper side of the saw. And as you'll see in a second, it's a uh, modification that required no changes to the saw, but makes it quite a bit nicer to work with. To use the gauge, the first thing that you need to do is zero it out. And so to do that, you simply move the gauge in until it makes contact with the blade. A little bit of practice can help here as the blade can flex or move around a bit and so that will cause your origin to change. But either way, it gets pretty accurate without a lot of work. And I previously zeroed this, so you can see on the readout that it's coming in very close to zero point. So I'm just gonna leave it where it was originally set. To make cut, you simply move the fence or the gauge until you get to a desired size there pardon a little bit of camera shake, and we'll leave it here at 639 and try that out. Just to make sure that I don't cut the uh, cord in half, I'll move that around. This is nice because it has a magnetic back on it, so you can drop it somewhere and it will stay there pretty securely. Most of the time, once I start using it, I leave it clipped right here where the saw will come down over it. Now you'll see that the size changed a little bit there because I touched it kind of hard. One of the things that would be a nice addition to this would be some type of set screw in here somewhere that would lock this more firmly in position. But for the type of work you're doing with this saw, moving a thousandth of an inch or two is probably not going to be significant. So what we'll do now is turn the saw on, we'll make this cut, and then we'll take the piece off and measure it to see how well it came out. <laughs> And conveniently, that piece didn't go flying, so we'll just pull it out right here. And we'll get our caliper out and see how this did. All right. 643, if you remember, we started with about 640, so we're within three and a half thousandths of an inch with what is not really considered to be a high precision process. Not bad for about $40 in parts and just a few simple things. I'll put plans for the drawings for this up on my blog, but as you can see, it's a very simple piece. It could really be made with nothing more than one of these band saws and a drill press just a few pieces of cut metal and some tapped holes to hold it all together. There's basically a bracket here, which is designed to go right on the, uh, the stop that the saw normally has on it, which is a 12 millimeter uh, shaft in my case. So you can just slide this right on. And if you're doing any really long pieces, you can, with the twist of one screw, you can kind of see down there, pull the bracket off and the whole piece comes right off. An easy, inexpensive modification which makes the tool much nicer 
faster and more precise to work with.